All right, what's going on, y'all? Some of these players you can argue are interchangeable. I think this is just the best, in my opinion, but there are some other players that you can use. But uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So let's go into the catcher position. So the catcher at Mike Piazza, just the best hitter all around. Fielding stats don't really matter. Catcher arm, I guess, does, but... I mean, how many times is anyone stealing on you in a competitive type setting in MLB? It doesn't really happen that much. You know what I mean? So the arm doesn't matter as much as you think. The hitting stats are just out of this fucking world. Easily the best catcher. At third base, he had Chipper Jones. He has insane hitting stats. It's crazy how he's still a relevant card. You know what I'm saying? They really did a good job with that. His defense is a little ass, but like... It's literally fine. You barely notice it. Sometimes it'll float something across the diamond and the guy will be safe, but like everything's good for the most part. Chipper Jones, third base. I think most people agree on this one. So let's go over to the first baseman. This one's a little controversial. Okay, but at first base, we have Nick Castellanos. Even in the secondary position, he's I think he's the best first baseman in the game. He has max contact. He has crazy power. There are other options like Musial and, and uh, Vlad. Those are options that you can use if you like their swings better, whatever. I think Castellanos kind of beats them both out because of the contact also yes he has shitty defense but at first base don't even look at the defense it doesn't matter there it's very rare that you need to make a play at first base that's like crazy or anything okay so shortstop we have francisco lindor um I, again you could use story here you could use wander here lindor is just the best to me he's a switch hitter he's like a juiced wander right switch hitter Insane hitting stats. Power against lefties is a little bit low, but it's enough. If you keep squaring shit up, he's probably going to knock out most of it. That's pretty good power. And then his fielding stats are absolutely insane. His arm is a little bit weaker than you expect for like a 99 shortstop, but I, I bet you barely notice it. 74 speed, which is a little bit slower than I'd like, but uh, he has 99 reactions to make up for that on defense. So yeah, card's literally insane. He costs a fuck ton of money because like 400K, but if you can afford him, yeah, definitely get this guy at shortstop. At second base... We have Jackie Robinson, crazy fielding stats, all that shit. He's fast as fuck. He can pretty much do everything except power is a little bit lower, but I, I really don't care about that. Like he, he does square shit up and knock it out. Best second baseman in the game, hands down. Moving on to the left fielder position. We have Mookie Betts. I know he plays right field normally, but with the other players I'm going to be using in the outfield, I'm just, I, I'm going to move him to left. So, I mean, it, this is the best card in the game. There's no fucking doubt. I mean, he's fucking great at everything. Is there anything I need to say? This needs to be in the outfield somehow. I know it costs like thousands of dollars to complete, but he needs to be in your outfield. All right. Left field, right field, center field, whatever. He needs to be there. The center field position, we have Ronald Acuna Jr. I think he's a staple in the outfield as well. I don't think you could really take him out. I know he's not a natural center fielder, but it is better than the rest of the natural center fielders. That's why I have him there. Great hitting stats. His contact against righties does kind of show on legend. His feeling stats are really good. He has a really good arm. Okay, this one is weird as fuck. He does have low power. Almost max contact. You can get max contact in like a couple of games. I think the rest of his stats really kind of balance out the power. You know what I mean? Best pitcher in the game, Nolan Ryan. Like this one is a little bit controversial. You could say it's DeGrom. You could say it's Felix Hernandez. I think it's Nolan Ryan. He has a fucking crazy fastball. Circle change is crazy. Sinker is crazy. Maxed out hits through nine. Maxed out velocity. Maxed out break. His control is a little bit lower, but who is a fuck now to the bullpen for right-handed pitchers goose i mean bro i don't he has a 0.92 era and i don't even remember giving up a run with him i uh, honestly i thought i had zero era with him guy's fucking crazy throws gas his slur like i don't know what the fuck that is and then his sinker really good changes really good max out his through nine he's i think he's literally aside from his control he is literally the best you can get it's insane so for left-handed pitchers i mean you knew this motherfucker was coming roll this chapman if you could, I mean, he's the best pitcher in the game. Like, he's the best pitcher in the game. If you had stamina, you'd be the best pitcher in the game. Obviously, since he's a closer, that's not the case. But, maxed out his through nine. Good control on the World is Chapman card is just, like, why? Why would you do that? Maxed out velocity. Max break. Yeah, but that's gonna be it. Hopefully, this helps you build your lineup. So, yeah, if y'all enjoyed, leave a like, sub to the channel, and, uh, peace.